Very good AI and automobile. On exercise number nine, this is the barbell rolls. I got the uh, weight belt on it. I got 35 and 35, so that's 70 pounds. And then the bar is either 10, 15, or 45 pounds, I don't know. Uh, so whatever the bar is, it's, uh, somebody said it was 45. I picked up a 40 pound weight, picked up the bar at the same time. They both felt about the same. I was like, oh geez, it is 40. So I'm lifting more than I thought I was lifting, but so at uh, minimum 70 pounds, at maximum it's uh, 115 pounds or something like that, so uh, give or take. So anyway, we're over 70, so if you can't do this much, this is probably going to be too much for me, but I'm going to try to do 10, uh, uh, 5 by 10 again, so 5 sets of 10 reps till, till failure on the last one, and we'll see what, we'll see what I do, I have to reduce, I'll reduce. So here we go. Sets are going to be a little bit long out. <laughs> and I'm going to show you something here. Okay, so 35 is too much on each side to get the full 10 reps. So what I'm going to do is take this off, say it together. Shame! Put this big beast back up on here. Okay, and I'm going to put on 25 pounds. Comfort, put on another five. So you might be changing up every now and then, but you've got to find what you can do anyway. Shame! This is exercise number nine, so I got uh, six more exercises to do. Good to uh, get that. Don't forget to get the fuck out of there. I'm going to end up lopsided. Finish off that first set. Technically, it is a second set, but we'll count it as one set. find out if you can do 10 in a row. So I took off the front card and put the two and a half pound on. Shame. But I earned that shame. Why? Because it's pushing me to my limit. Whew. That was the first. Let's so see if we can get a full 10 out of the next set. It's always 10 to failure. Or to failure. Whichever comes first, right? That's what I'm going for. If you can't do that, don't do that. If you can do more, do more. Okay. Here we go for the second set. See if we can get 10 in a row. I started with those, then I went down to all of these, 
No, and then I went down to these. Now I'm down to those. I had to earn my way there. I couldn't. I didn't start here and work my way up. I started from the top, work my way down. Maybe you want to try it the other way around. That might work for you even better. It's hard to say. But that said, let's go for set number three. And it's going to get harder as you go. So even if you're going to a lighter weight, trust me. The lighter weight, a few reps in, feels like you went up in weight. It, 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 it balances out. So just don't hurt your back, don't hurt your knees, don't hurt any of your, you know, stay within your limit. This is still plenty heavy. Here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six. to 10 there. I'm not just going to go down to 10. I went from 25, now I'm at 15. Let's go to 17. Why not? To finish off that other five. Get the most out of it. You know what I mean? Get the most out of it. So technically this doubles up my sets. Uh, but the next thing is when I come in next week, I'll probably know where to start better anyway. So it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna, I need to do 10 sets, uh, 10 reps in a row. And um, when I'm more depleted like this, uh, I need to put some energy and you can still complete the reps. Well, then you know that's a good place to start when you try the next time. Saying, okay, well, even with all the, after using the, the 35 pounders and going down to these guys, I still, <coughs> you know, I'm down to 34 pounds from 50, right? So, okay, whatever it is, it is. But I know, I, even with all the other stuff, I can still, I know I'll, I'll be able to finish with at least that. So I know I never have to go lower than that. Uh, so anyway, uh, finish off that set, then so I can find more, and then I go to the third set. Two, three, four, Right, plus I want to get my technique in better anyway. So that set number two. Okay, set number two. Okay, so that's a good weight. That's all I need. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with that. I'll stick with that. I'll be changing plates for every day. But I'm probably going to go up another five pounds. Uh, I, feel, I feel like it. Okay, let's go for set number three. See if I can do ten in a row. Set number three, I think. Hey, I think that's set number three. Okay. Hey, if you go over, don't worry about it. Shay. So I took off the two and a half pounder. Set number four. Uh, again, alternate the side, like the bar from this side, then the bar from this side. That way, if one side happens to be slightly heavier than the other, you're not building yourself on the even zone. Set number four, here we go. Uh, that 
That's after you, I tell you. That's after you. Woo. Are we going to five or failure? Whichever. Seven out of five. We're going to ten or failure. So now to ten pounds, ten pounds plus the bar. Woo. But next time, I think I guess we'll start off with uh, at the maybe the 30 or maybe at the 50 pound weight. And I always like, like when you go down in weight, just go down by a little bit. You know what I mean? Until you find where your weight is. Because what happens if you, let's say I start off with the 35s and I just automatically go down to the 25s. Well, maybe I can go down to 30 or maybe 32.5 instead of 35. And that might be, you know. Do as much as you can get away with. You know what I mean? So that way you're not cheating yourself. And when you start the next time, so I know the next time there's no point in me starting at 35, but maybe I'll start at 32 and a half pounds per side. You know what I mean? That type of thing. So you work your way down, and then when you find that too easy, then go up again. Go up, go down, go up, go down. Find where your limit is. You'll, you'll figure it out after probably a few sessions anyway. All right, so set number five or till failure. So we got. 10, 10 plus the bar. We'll see what we get with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 